Hello and welcome to Spellforce Free Soul Harvest. And oh boy, I had a great time with Spellforce Free. It was an amazing journey uh, and an extremely good uh, RPG game and uh, a great uh, strategy game. So uh, clearly one of the best games uh, in the last years. And I'm very excited to hop into this one uh, right away. So let's go, I suppose. Yeah, let's go. We gotta play on hard because Circle Mage could be, I don't know. I, I kind of want to make some progress, but also want to be challenged. So I guess we're gonna go with this. And if it's too hard, we're just gonna change it. Yeah, let's it's just 44, go. 44,447 SD. Two years ago, a cult called the Purity of Light devastated Northender, believing they would usher in the return of a benevolent god. A corporal named Tahar put an end to their doing. Your Erev, a former general of the Nortandian army. As you spent the past 12 years stationed in Imperia, a country far from your homeland, the purity wars passed you by. You don't mind. You had your own shadows to chase. I don't care about this Tahar doing business. I'm just... Okay, so I'm Tahar. Or no, I'm not Tahar. I'm, I'm Erev. <clears throat> sure. So I need to choose my class. I need to choose my looks. Should I be a guy? Should I be a woman? I I feel like I I'm I'm just I'm totally impartial to it. Like sometimes I just mix it up, but maybe it's more immersive if I play a guy. What face I'm going to have? Am I don't know. I don't know. What that that looks well, that doesn't really match that. I don't know. Oh, that we can go get on board with that. All right, let's go. Body one. What? Okay. Um, I guess I don't want to be shorter. Um, fine. Haircut. We need a proper hair. Come on, let, let's be real here. Facial hair. Oh yeah, that that seems okay. Maybe maybe change the head a little bit. Yeah, that seems okay again. Yeah, that, that looks that looks better. Uh, we need the hair color a little bit darker. Oh, let's go with that. Skin color that, that seems okay for for the guy we are running. <clears throat> uh, pff, class. I have to admit, I looked into this a little bit already because there's just a lot to check out. You can click on it. You got some different uh, talent trees. Uh, the different abilities and different attributes uh, affect them differently. Strength is obviously for melee fighters. And not like, like, for example, Dexter is a dumb stat because it affects block chance, crit chance, of course, mostly ranged weapons, and uh, cooldown as well. So this game is not really about dumb stats. So, of course, there are stat priorities, but... So I was thinking what to run. I was basically running kind of a, a keeper last time when I was playing Spellforce 3 and I strongly believe that that is a very important character to have. But I'm not sure if you're gonna go with that just right here. Maybe I should just... Like this This gives us a lot of utility. If we go with a keeper, we're gonna have a, a mega tank with a, a mega healer. Which is just... Uh, which can just carry games. But this is Spellforce. That means... We're gonna have a group of heroes. Although, I'm not sure how reliable it is to... Well, it is. Uh, th th those group of heroes. Because if you're just gonna be left on your own, then... Uh oh. Then you're in trouble. But I think I'm just... At this point, I might just wanna go with the ranger. I was I was tempted to go with a mage. But the problem with the mage is that it does require a lot of input on your end. Because you're just gonna be spamming skills non-stop. And this is a, an RTS game, so... Uh, that could be tricky. What do we want here? Maybe... But well, this is okay. So, dexterity is our damage. And uh, we have enough for all bows. So this is good. Constitution is that we don't die. Intelligence... Uh, that's not really important here. If I change my constitution, we actually get less armor. <laughs> I can, I can up it a little bit if we go with less intelligence, but we can't go with less than 6 dexterity if we want to be an archer. We can't go with less than 3 constitution. 
And I think he has like putting one point into intelligence and one point into willpower. Those those points gonna really pay off, I suppose. So I suppose we only have a choice between do we want to do a little bit more damage or do we want to have a little bit more health? So I customize it a little bit. Let's go with that. And our name is gonna be well, that's a tough call. I usually just like to go with something kind of fun, maybe not too offensive, but like kind of fun. Definitely not offensive here. <clears throat> of course, you can go a little bit crazier here, but yep, that could be good. If if the guys take uh, the story too seriously, then this is gonna lighten it up a little bit. So we're just gonna focus on being an archer and uh, kind of rely. Ov obviously, we're gonna need other people to, other characters to round out the party anyway. Accept! I accept this. It's been three years <clears throat> since you lost your regiment and the Empyrean village, but the nightmares still haunt you. Night after night, you jolt awake, drenched in sweat, pulse hammering against your wrists. Even though your mind does its best to suppress and distort the memories, a part of you is aware that you probably deserve it. It's your fault. You know that much. But why? One day, you decide to see a Dreamweaver in hopes of finding an answer. Probably a bunch of hogwash, but the drowning will clutch at a straw. I see. So, we went to a fortune teller, kind of. Uh, what, what is this? Where are we? In your dream, Erev, as I told you. You allowed me to enter it so that I can help you. Wait, this is the desert? But it looks nothing like the real place. Because your mind is aware. This world is an interpretation of the events. To your dreaming self, it looks just like the real one. Now, tell me, what happened that day? But I told you, I can't remember. My memory, it's all foggy, warped. Even so, try. There was a battle. The Dawn Reaper orcs had been terrorizing Imperia for years. This was Judgment Day. I was on my way to an outpost in the desert to meet my division. I see. So we're gonna relive this memory. I'm not sure if you even have a weapon here. Um, I got a, a toothpick. I suppose we got an armor, so that's a plus. Mm. Okay. Stay close. Something to do here. Baggy. Uh, dude, pick it up. Go. Go get it. How do you get it? I'm listening. Alright, he selected here? him. Let's make him <coughs> group one. Don't forget, this is uh, an RTS game as well. What are these? The portals? Anchor points. Every portal you traverse represents a step deeper down into your memory. That you were able to activate this one is a good sign. Hmm. I don't think I ever saw these in my normal dreams. As I said, this is because you're aware of the fact that you're dreaming. The portals are part of your mind's abstract representation of the events. I see. Oh, nice. So, what when the it? conversation actually is over, it's gonna say end. Uh, just kinda convenient. Okay, uh, what the hell is this? Oh my god, I'm fighting something. Punch it! And don't die to it, preferably. That's a projection. Yes. And okay. Creatures, what are they? Symbols of your struggle. Just continue, General. Your memories will return the deeper you go. I see. Guardians, I still can't believe I'm awake in my own dream. Most people feel that way. Hmm. Alright, what's this? Get the baggie. Oh my god, we got a <clears throat> inferior shortbow. Uh, by the way, I did turn off the tutorial, so I suppose this initial phase not only serves as a... Uh, look at that, our focus generation. Not only serves as uh, a... As, uh, as a way to get to know the yes. character and the backstory, but... As a tutorial that I turned off. 
So, I think uh, that's just clearly better. Okay. They need to take out more ghosts. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, get up. Go Godstone. Ahead. Move in. Great. Good shot, but are you gonna shoot again? I might need to <clears throat> change the hotkeys. What do we have here? It's, they are not like the last time. Out well, not like I, I set them up in uh, Spot for Street. This game has a lot yes. of things to press, and uh, I suppose. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Untainted hmm. keystone. What's this? Oh, the hmm. dream. It's not that easy to uh, Wait, customize I, the hotkeys. I think I remember something. All players. I went to some kind of shrine and there was someone I was supposed to meet. Who? Remember, Erev. Who was it that you met there? Uh, a local, I think. A villager. Let me try to remember. Alright. Try to kill it. Hmm. Okay, who's lady? Erev, that's you, isn't it? Yes. Are you the guide from Kaval? Yes. Taba. Taba Segewa. Mm. The mayor said the orcs are headed for our village. Is that... is that true? A small horde, yes. But they won't arrive before nightfall and we can handle them. My division and I are gonna protect you. Oh, guardians. So it's true. Why, though? Why would they attack us? We're just a small village. I don't know. Maybe to stir up the rural population. Either way, Colonel Rickus, my second in command, is already on his way to the village to set up defenses. We'll stop by our outpost to gather the rest of my division. Follow me. Of course. Ah, uh, and General, I would like you to have this. It's a present from us, the people of Carvel. You know, as a token of thanks. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thanks. Oh, we got a chest that we can open that actually gives us a choice of reward of extra health, which would be not a significant amount of extra health. Health per second. Okay, you don't have to accept it right away. So we gotta make a choice. Do I want a little bit more health, or uh, a little bit more focus? That's my focus, 26, my health is 640, and I think more, probably reg regeneration would be the best. Trinket. Let's take the trinket. Present. What did she mean? A charm. It was a charm, some kind of right. Empyrean rabbit's paw. Well, that's a pretty handy charm. Hmm. Okay. I need to use the, the gate here. What do you need? <laughs> I know. Uh, this is where I would get the tutorials, most likely. I don't know. I turn it off instantly. Not a problem. I played Spell for Free. Over here. I'll figure this out. Hmm. Kind of arena. Look out! Oh no! Uh oh. Maybe shoot again. Now this is where having a little bit more health would be nice. Yeah, punch! Punch of ghost! Oh my god, I wish I had your health. Yes. Guardians, these... These were Dawn Reapers. How can they be so close to the village already? Here you're wrong. Probably just a scouting troop. Let's push on. This way. Well, 
I guess we have to rely on health regeneration. Which is not that high because my strength is one. Keep it up. General. Oh. There you are. We were starting to get worried. <clears throat> Mother? Kieran, what are you doing here? He's serving in my division. Oh, so you're the Nortandian general my son is always rhapsodizing about. I had no idea. Mother. It's fine. Colonel, what's your status? Rick has already went ahead to the village and we should follow as soon as possible. Well, we would be ready to leave, but there are two problems. First of all, we recently received a report from an Empyrean scout that conflicts with our own information. Apparently the horde heading for Cavill is much larger than we thought. It's probably not my place to say, but maybe we should ask General Karos for help? Hmm, no. Cavill's situated on a plateau, so it's easy to defend. But isn't it- What's the second problem? Well, there's a detail of orcs a couple of miles north from here. They're blocking the path to Cavill. Another scouting group, probably. All right. Let everyone know I'm taking command. Yes, sir. Okay. So, a time to RTS, apparently. Well, let me summarize. You were traveling with an Empyrean local named Tava, and were bound for her village Cavill, which you suspected the orcs were going to attack that very night. You let... Most of your troops were already there, Wait, what? and you were about to follow. Oh yes. yeah, again. And we have to take out an orc scouting party to get there. Three points, actually. Where is level three? Upgrading that would require another level. Oh. We can go that way. The only thing I can actually do at this point is improve my attack damage over here in the warrior tree, currently. I what that stands for. I can also... Give myself a movement boost if I want that. But I don't know. We can also save the point because it's probably gonna be useful later. But let's just go for. Uh, yeah. Permanently increase my attack damage. Let's apply it. We can't undo it, but that's gonna help. Hold on. This is it. Okay. Billet. Uh oh. We need to fight at what the top it? already. Follow. Yeah, I probably need to rebind this Attack! soon. Uh, this thing. Oh, I need Go to ahead. speak to the ghost. Would you like I was to like, push? what? Why do I have catapults? Seriously, these. How the hell do these guys have catapults? Yeah, this seems pretty. S no, no, no. There's nothing to do. There's some stuff what there. Yes. All right. Yes, general. Dude, have, have a talk. <clears throat> no, we need to deal with that scouting party first. I see. Guardians watch over your swords, general. Thank you for helping us. Okay. So, time to build. You. Oh, that's nice. Did they change this though? I I, I I very much remember. Oh no, I have to rebind it again. That's not good enough. So I need to build a barracks, but in order to build a barracks. We're gonna need uh, to cut some wood. Lock. Yes. This probably should be placed where the wood is. Actually, it show the arrow shows where the where I can find some. Wow, that's that's just an improvement. I know, I know. Some people, some players are gonna say like, "Oh my God, it's more immersive to look for the tree yourself," but no. Screw that. So we're gonna put the woodcutter thingy over there. Uh, three guys are gonna go. We have 12 left. Stonecutter, it's not something we can do. I can do another woodcutter. But if I do that, then we gotta wait for the barracks. 
We gotta wait for a stone cutter as well. This might be just overkill if I do that. Probably not gonna need that much that many trees. Uh yeah, hunting cabin. Uh gathers the food. Shelter for the troops. Now this is a new building. I don't I don't recall this. The Bilat. Also keep in mind all these expire. Well not really expire, but these are exhaustible resources. So once you get this thousand wood, that's it. There's no more. Offered to help. The Emperor accepted it. Hmm. I understand. What do you need? I'm not sure we're gonna need everything here. So oh yeah yeah. Can these guys pick it up? No. Only heroes can pick it up. Alright then, let's get to it. Interesting. Get up. That's not a lot, but And we gotta need. Um well, we can build the barracks. This doesn't need to be built. Well, obviously it takes up a, a big big space. And it's gonna need two guys to operate it. We can go for a stone cutter. We'll only take a where the stone is, which is apparently over here. Nice improvement! I love it! Alright, stone cutter goes over there. Aye, that should work. And this needs three guys. So I have seven guys left? Oh yeah, I do have seven guys left. Hunting, hunting cabin. Uh, keep in mind, also, meat is something that runs out as well. As far as I know. Fair enough. So we got a barracks now. The barracks and now ready. we can see Pick what we need. Arms. We need more meat. Infantryman. Arbalist. Building completed. Scouts better equipment, just an upgrade. So scout is not what we want for fighting. Can go for regular melee unit or just the arborless. It seems like yeah, we already have a lot of. Well let's do that. We gotta need more food. Seems like we are mostly struggling with food. Hunting cabin. Wait, do I even have a hunting cabin? It seems like I don't. So I can just put this anywhere. It doesn't matter. Maybe I should put it in some... In like a... Like a little bit? A central location? Okay. I... I don't need to place this in any particular location. Because... But it does show that it can get at most thousand foods. And again, after that expires, just runs out, we can't get any more. And uh, that doesn't take too long to... Well... Yes? Well... Maybe I shouldn't say that, that it doesn't take too long. But... We already got 80, food, 80 wood here. I don't know, a little bit over there as well. So not like it's, it lasts forever. It runs out. And these are quite generous... Uh, Resources here. 1,000. Sometimes you get like 300. And how long this is gonna last? Like, I don't know, like 15 minutes? Well, assuming you only build one. But if you build two, then it's gonna go fast. So we have... City center. Observation tower. But we don't really know where the hell they would attack us from. So it seems like we need to get more food to upgrade the city center. Then we can go for more guys. So much to do. So uh, this is the population limit. Uh, yes. I just want to get started with the city center. Then we can uh, see about the rest. Well then. Okay. Ah, well, this looks fine. Like, look at that. We're getting plenty. I um, can get some extra guys. I wanna change the hotkey of the camera because it is on arrow keys, which is just not great. And I like to keep my mouse 
Uh, just for pointing, not like, oh, like obviously this is not going to be fine. This is, uh, well, personal preference, I suppose. I can just get more arborless, and I suppose that is the goal I have here. The little tip is, like, right, you know, there's no point building two barracks if you're not going to use it, I suppose. Time for a briefing. Because, like, yeah, you could be just getting some extra resources here. Takes two guys. Of course, we can, like, kick one guy, but then it's gonna drop the production speed uh, down quite a bit. So we up the town center. This probably should enable new buildings. Attack level 2. Am I supposed to talk to him? <laughs> okay, this is not obvious, ob always obvious in this game. Talk to Colonel Kiran. Alright, everyone's armed and ready. Let's deal with those orcs. Well, music to my ears. Lead us, General. I, I would not say that we are, like, <clears throat> super ready. <clears throat> this will be a masterpiece. But I suppose... What is it? Commander. Building completed. Our population is at maximum capacity. We need to expand. Yeah, but I can't expand. <laughs> it cannot be done. I can do a forge. Allows upgrading military units and uh, a smelter. But again, we... Well, first of all, we run into the first problem. It, iron mine. Yeah. Construction menu is N. I don't want to close it. Free workers backspace. Really? I know where the free workers are. Come on, game. I'm not that dumb. So this allows only one guy. We can go for the forge or the... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, we got we got right, into trouble done. here. Obviously, already. Like, okay. I got I can get some iron. Which we kind of need. And now you need to, like, okay. Maybe one guy should work there. Maybe we should have a forge as well. Just to upgrade. So now you only have... <clears throat> Chop, chop, or, or you can just say, like, I have a lot of wood, like, why do I need that? And of course, this is just one... One settlement. Uh, this is nothing. But maybe I just want less uh, woodcutters here. And we're gonna go with, like, more people at the barracks. I might as well get bloody started here. What? Go ahead. Stay close. I do want these even different Commander. teams. Would you like to push or change? Oh, what? A magic. He's ready to fire. Okay. That's a lot of dudes. Yes. What is it? One dude. Not. What is it? Fire. Let me quit. Where to? Oh, I, I'm gonna need some infantry guys. I forgot that I don't have a tank now. I'm listening. Would you like to push? Could you say something? Building completed. What do you need? Use my special ability. Oh, nice. That was a kill. They must be done. I'm ready. All right, guys. They won't know what Get him. Up. He's ready to fire. Forfeit, that's... Gar Rock. That's the city center. Hi. As you can see, the... Well, they have... Special damage types. Trying to use the crossbowman, Arbalus. To deal with the buildings is just a complete waste, waste of time. Over the rap needs to go back. What is it? Oh, really? Go ahead. Did you say something? Would you like to push? Catapults! Focus on the real thing! Yes. <laughs> Without the catapult, this would be... Uh, pretty damn difficult. More difficult. This is it. Okay. This is one example where we just, uh... <laughs> Come on! I'm gonna help out a little bit here. Where we, well, we don't have other heroes, so. 
No. A heal would definitely help. Because my guys are dying. The first battle, yes. That's when things get muddy. Well done. Now let's not waste any more time. Colonel, let everyone know we're making for Cavill. I won. General Arab. General Arab? Who are you? Uh, Private Rogo. I'm, uh, I'm the scout. There are two more Orcus troops in the area, and they're headed for this outpost. We're just about to leave for Cavill. And they'll notice our trail and ambushes from behind. Damn it. Rickus is waiting for my orders. All right. Colonel, you deal with the orcs around here. I'll go on ahead to Cavill. Alone? But what if they find you? What about the path through the jungle? The secret one. I could show him the way. It's still dangerous. For both of you. I appreciate your concern, Colonel, but I need to be there to lead the defense. Take care of the orcs, then follow. Of course, General. Forgive me. I didn't mean to overstep my bounds. Tiara, watch over both of you. Be careful, son. Oh, I'm proud of you. General, don't be angry with my son for being so stubborn. He's always been like that. A head to crush trolls with. That's all right. He has a strong will. That's one of the reasons I promoted him. What is it? All right. Explore the dream. Hmm. Anyway, this is a decent time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next time.